Julia, have you um, had this experience in real life where you've had kind of a friend group or a friendship break up over a rumor, drama, secret, gossip, anything like that? Yeah, definitely. I think they're um, having friend groups in, I think specifically, I'm, I'm referring to a time in high school, yeah. I think especially in high school, um, having, having friend groups is tricky because Mm -hmm. I mean, in my personal experience, you are, you don't have the same level of friendship with every single person in your group there. Cause there's always one person who's maybe, you know, you're a little bit closer to, or there's a couple that have, you have more history with. And so there's more of a bond there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's sort of where things get a little tricky. I had some experiences in high school where, um, I had a larger group of friends that I, than I was comfortable with. And Mm. that sort of left room for a divide in some way. And it wasn't Mm. ever intentional, but there were definitely times where I feel like there were certain people who felt probably left out because they came along at a different time or anything. And I, you know, I was never, um, ill intentioned, but I think that's only, it's only natural for that to happen. So, um, yeah, I think keeping keeping honesty and keeping an op- open communication with all the people that are close to you is really important. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Have you had friend breakups over? I think we all have, yeah. honestly, in like every single level of my life. Elementary school, I had friend breakups over yep. drama and middle school and yeah. high school, which I'm in right now. It's just, it happens and it doesn't make it hurt any less the more you go through it. But I feel like the more experiences you have with it, you know what to look out for and you know how to maybe yeah. set those boundaries like what we were talking about or, or stop it from happening in the first place. Yeah. Well, and you both, uh, we were talking a little bit in the beginning because the book talks about like how to stay true to yourself in changing times. And we were saying mm-hmm. like what is changing a lot for young people, of course, is social media mm-hmm. and the ability to spread misinformation so fast yeah. and the ability to really hurt somebody with gossip that's untrue. Again, because it like, you know, just kind of flies out there and you can't control where it lands. And so I'm curious, like maybe, Julia, if you could share, like as, you know, you you grow as a public figure and people look at you and they they make up stories about you in their own head, even if they're saying it or not saying it, right? Like people look at Shay online, they'll say, oh, she's this or she's that. Like, how do you navigate hearing something about you that's not true? Something that I think is really important is like, owning your truth and owning who you are because sure somebody locked up in their room somewhere on the other side of the country can say something about you online that's not true Mm -hmm. and yes of course it's always gonna hurt when you see it right in front of you and your first initial reaction is I need to comment back and say oh no that's not true you didn't mean to say that let me let me put my truth out there but something that I always have to remind myself is rumors and truth are so it's such a vast (laughs) world and under uh, knowing what is true to you and who you are is really important and also like looking to the people around you and being like this is a name that's online and this is a physical person in my Mm -hmm. life who knows who I really am Mm -hmm. and there's a clear difference in what's more important so really really owning who you are is I think like the first step. Yeah. And that's such a tough lesson to learn because, oh, yeah. you know, we were saying when we're growing up, especially I'll, I'll make this generalization. I think girls can be socialized to, and what I mean by socialized is raised and encouraged to look outside of themselves for approval. So we look often to what somebody thinks about us, what they think about our appearance, what our friends think about what we're wearing or what we're doing. You know, we often put a lot of emphasis on outside of us. And I think what you're saying about knowing your truth is, again, about looking within and knowing more about who you are and knowing what's true and not. But the hardest thing is to try to not stop every little bit of rumor or gossip. (laughs) 